And he's using it again. He's using the artillery, guys. Watch it. He didn't miss at all. Hello there guys, did you miss this uh, replace of Company of Heroes 2? Well, here's another one. Um, this time, he's, uh, he's playing uh, one of my friends, Kirin, this guy, with level 180. Um, basically guys, the, the best player in here has level 291, this guy Lemon. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Give this man a cookie! Level 291! Do you imagine how how much this uh, this guy plays uh, plays this game? Anyway, um... Lieutenant uh, Kirin is playing as um, as the Wehrmacht as the... Uh, as it is his ally. Um... And guys, uh, in the Allied team, there is uh, a Soviet and uh, U.S. forces faction. On the right side of the river, guys, we can see some um, some uh, enemy contact. The engineers are fighting uh, the echelon troops, rear echelon troops. A um, Relifement squad is uh, closing and ambushing the engineers and Lieutenant Kirin is uh, Retreating them. He knows that he has no chances to, to do anything there So he does a, a good move and retreats them now on the left side of the river of the map whatever you wish guys um, a uh, conscript squad Is fighting a uh, Grenadier squad and a uh, engineer squad that belongs to the lemon guy. You know, the guy, the lemon guy is trying to ambush the conscripts. Also, he's getting close to hit them from uh, a very short distance because this guy uh, does. I mean, the the infantry does damage from close uh, close range. A machine gun has been brought by the uh, by the pink player. Machine gun has been brought on the battlefield, and now um, on the right side, Lieutenant um, Kirin is um, using a machine gun to to pin down the units, the enemy units, and uh, he managed to do so quite nicely. You can see that he is destroying. I mean, he's making some kills with the grenadiers, but sadly. He lost the grenadiers. I mean, he lost three grenadiers from the squad because the right man threw threw a grenade, and there was smoke in front of the machine gun, and the machine gun couldn't hit anyone. As you can see, guys, um, the red player is using uh, m uh, smoke frequently, so the machine gun cannot be used uh, cor uh, correctly, or at least to to stop the machine gun from uh, from pinning down uh, the units. Now, uh, the yellow player has a machine gun on this side, uh, while the pink player, the, the enemy player, is uh, is sending a machine gun a bit forward, but it's not successful because the machine gun sent by the pink player is uh, being uh, ambushed with, with the engineers and is being under fire by the other machine gun that the yellow player has. Now, <laughs> well, um... The big, the pink player really brought a lot of troops in, in, on this side, and the yellow player is quite overwhelmed and overnumbered. And uh, well, I think it would be better for him to to retreat at this point. The conscripts are here; they can easily throw a grenade and get rid of the machine gun. So uh, uh, the yellow player retreats the machine gun. The yellow player also also has a sniper. 
which is a really nice tactic as you can see the players um, so far only play with infantry very very nice they they do very nice on the right side uh, lieutenant Kirin has a mortar and he's using the mortar against uh, against what nothing well lieutenant Kirin has a sniper as well so uh, Lemon and Lieutenant Kirin play the same little tactic, you know. Machine gun, uh, mortar, grenadiers, and um, snipers. They they both have the same uh, the same units in uh, in their in their army. <sighs> now. The allies use uh, smoke grenades frequently to block the, uh, oh my god, to block the machine gun from firing at their units. And as you can see, these units were uh, were ambushed by uh, by the allies. So it was a pretty nice tactic, you know. Throw the grenade, get behind the machine gun, and fire at it. It's as simple as that, guys. Now the Axis is facing some uh, terrible territory losses both on uh, on the left side and on the right side they lost the fuel on the left side they are germans they need fuel and uh, also on the right side they lost the standard territory point the fuel and the uh, victory point they hold the victory point in the middle which is nice but still the left side and the right side is uh, ruined the yellow player brought this mobile uh, Mortar half track, which is quite nice. But the other player has to retreat because the um, the allies become more and more aggressive. This this are the Soviets. Yeah, the, so the Soviets were more and more aggressive. Now the other player sends more units. I mean, uh, starts his attack. He threw smoke green is smoke uh, here, so he cannot be seen by uh, by the enemy. All right, on the right side as well. The um, I mean, Lieutenant Kirin is uh, is pushing with two grenadier squads and one machine gun. As you can see, they still use uh, smoke grenades in order to block the machine gun from firing at other units. And it's a uh, it's it's an efficient tactic, as you can see. It's it's efficient, guys. It is efficient. Um, the U.S. Uh, the guy that plays with the U.S. forces built here a fortification point, which has a machine gun, and um, it will be hard for the infantry to pass without destroying that thing. Yeah, pretty much impossible. On the left side, uh, the yellow player is slowly getting territory. He's slowly winning territory. On the right side, we can see more infantry battles. This time there are no smoke grenades thrown and the machine gun is doing its job against the Reliefman squad. Another Reliefman squad is approaching. As you can see guys, these Grandiers are equipped with the MG42 LMG which deals uh, very good damage against the um, yes, infantry. Now on the left side, the yellow player, is it, uh, it looks like he's capturing more and more uh, territory including the, um, the field point and also the victory point is neutralized. And on the right side, uh, the other victory point is neutralized. So basically, the Axis owns one uh, victory point while the Allies have no victory point. And very soon, the Axis will. Uh, well, right now, the Axis has two victory points. Pretty nicely. Alright. There's this uh, mortar that is firing in this area because he's trying to um, well 
block I mean he's trying to block any ideas that um, the allies might have to attack from this side and also if there are any mines uh, the mortar is going to destroy them you know you can see that a pack 40 anti-tank gun has been brought here to take down the fortification point and it did and it was very nice now the allies the Russians come from the middle and um, they didn't capture the victory point they just tried to infiltrate behind enemy lines the pink player the pink player is playing with the Soviets and he is uh, bringing more machine guns to fight against the yellow player on the left side while the uh, the Soviet guy the Soviet guy is also doing some ambush tactics as you can see he used the grenade in order to take out the mortar the mortar has to be retreated the sniper had to be retreated and this way uh, the pink player that plays with the Soviets wins more territory now on the right side the blue player lieutenant Kirin has captured uh, I mean is capturing the victory point and the field point it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting indeed oh my god a T-70 light tank has been brought on the left flank oh imagine the terror that um, the yellow guy is gonna feel he needs something with anti-tank capabilities otherwise he cannot survive for long yeah and he brought a pack 40 into the battlefield that was a smart move uh, the, the blue player is capturing more territory okay the pack is doing a good job one hit and uh, the T-70 is in big trouble Oh, a second hit was on the way, but it hit the 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 random uh, truck that was in the in the way. The yellow player is fighting the blue player, and the blue player seems to win more territory on the right side, while the yellow player is making some pushes on the left flank, and uh, I think he has chances to uh, to get more ground uh, control. Oh, the same T70 is here guys but this time he tried to ambush the the anti-tank gun but he didn't succeed uh, because the AT gun was faced this way all right uh, the blue player is facing a little ambush here As you can see two real life um, and squad uh, tried to ambush the uh, the blue player from uh, from behind a little or at least from the side but uh, he did neutralized the mortar team but pretty much they were unable to um, to stop every little advance of the of the uh, of the um, Germans now he has to retreat with that soldier if he loses him I'm gonna cry because this guy has two veteran stars and uh, a heavy gun <sighs> all right the old player is always retreating he's playing safe he brought a second anti-tank gun into the battlefield all right and he has a good combination of units mortar machine gun the sniper should be around here if the sniper is not dead I guess the sniper is dead at this point oh guys the the pink player has a uh, m70 mg mc uh, car and also he uh, he's defending his uh, his his territory with several machine guns and uh, infantry squads. Yeah, this is very very interesting. On the right side, it looks like the blue player was um, was forced to retreat, as you can see. Now we can see that the yellow player faces a, a good defense from the pink player. So yeah, the pink player is uh, defending the the ground that he uh, he captured, and he's doing it pretty well with several machine guns. Uh, there there was a previous um, there was a previous attempt from the pink player to capture this uh, this same territory, but he failed. 
He failed because he didn't defend it. I mean, he captured it, but after that, he didn't defend it, and um, it was in his disadvantage because uh, the yellow player was um, well. Uh, the yellow player easily captured that uh, territory that the, the pink player didn't didn't defend. We can see that a shock troop was used to ambush the uh, machine gun that the yellow player had uh, in that side, on this side I mean, and the blue player lost quite some territory on the right side, I mean the munition uh, point and also his standard victory point and let's not talk about this, uh, uh, this, uh, this victory point, field point and standard territory point, also the middle victory point was lost. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, bad for uh, for the axes. They all play very well, as you can see. They are very calculated, and they they uh, their micro is very very nicely done. The blue player has a sniper still, an AT gun, but he has no machine gun. So uh, for now, the machine gun is inside the base. He needs it on the battlefield. All right, the sniper is being used against uh, against this unit, and I think the sniper is very valuable, guys. You see, while the enemies are firing, the sniper simply takes them down one by one. Keep the sniper safe, and you are uh, doing well. A uh, T thirty four seventy six guys um, is sent to fight the. Uh, yellow player from the axis but the two anti-tank guns are a serious threat for that tank for any tank that will approach the, the yellow player the yellow player is trapped here he cannot do any move because the pink player has the machine gun surrounding this entire his entire territory so it's pretty damn hard for for the yellow player to break this little defense. He needs to use the mortars at full capacity. Because this is one way to get to get rid of the machine guns. Using mortars or using snipers. It's up to you. On the on the right side the blue player is uh, capturing and recapturing the, the territories from the from the US forces you know the Americans are sending uh, good offensives and they're using good tactics against uh, against the, the blue player lieutenant Kirin as you can see guys this entire area is surrounded with machine guns and anti-infantry uh, anti-infantry artillery has been used here and the yellow player is forced to retreat a little now the T-34 is, uh, is trying to do something I don't understand what it just it's just facing the AT gun. Oh, uh, the Soviet guy just lost uh, just lost the T thirty four tank. What a shame! What a shame, guys! It's quiet for now. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Hmm, the yellow player has two grenadiers with uh, three and uh, two veterancy stars, also equipped with. Um, what's that called? Oh! The. Pink player is pushing from the left side, while the yellow player attempts to ambush, uh, ambush him, but it's not working because the machine gun is put there to defend uh, the side. And at this point, the pink player is uh, is pushing forward to capture this standard territory point, while the blue player is um, is pushing uh, on the right side and on the middle, capturing the victory points. The yellow player is ambushed, he has to move away those uh, anti-tank guns, otherwise he's gonna lose them. The pink player approached um, 
the base of the axis they 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 are just too close right now the pink player is too close and even if uh, the yellow player has level 291 he didn't manage to to deal with this guy who has one uh, level 170 of course this game is much more about tactics rather than what level you have because you barely get any benefits with um, the higher the level I just presume that the higher the level the most experienced the player is but of course the players uh, the players can have um, bad days too oh look at this a tiger 6 all right, that's La Pièce de Résistance of the yellow player. Now, uh, now the pink player is forced to retreat. The yellow player can push. You, you can see that the yellow player is using um, is using infantry and tank, and the tank to to do. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. The enemy has destroyed an anti tank gun. You can see the tank. They have uh, they have very good chances right now to uh, to get out of that situation where they were Doing pretty bad. All right, all right. The yellow player is pushing with the tiger, with the tiger, and he will seriously get some ground control at this point because. Uh, what? All right, the blue player has an elephant uh, heavy tank destroyer, while the yellow player has a tiger, and that's it. Let's call it tiger, not tiger six, because I saw your comments and you really hate me for that. <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> Nice. The yellow player has a lot of infantry to send to fight uh, to fight this guys. No, that mortar must not be eliminated. Three veterans stars. No. Okay. The blue player is slowly advancing. He has the elephant tank destroyer behind him to back his ass off. Oh, an IS-2 heavy tank has been brought on the battlefield by the Russians it's not doing anything has been uh, has been uh, temporary been disabled oh my god just look at it the IS-2 is just being destroyed oh poor Russians what the hell was happening here anti-infantry artillery I suppose But, guys, but, you can see that the advantage is, um, well, the game is pretty balanced. Right now, the advantage belongs to the Axis. They, uh, they just managed to get inside uh, the enemy territory for the first time. So... The yellow player never crossed this line, but now he's capturing this standard territory point. So he imagined um, the losses of the of the uh, allies. Now, oh no! The enemy is taking our territory. They're just reinforcing their um, their sides, and as you notice, guys, both players from the axis 
use uh, different uh, infantry units to support their tanks. So basically they don't send the tank alone into the battle. They send infantry with the tank. The tank is good against tanks and some tanks are good against infantry too. But mainly the tanks that they have are good against the other tanks and also against infantry a little. They have some powerful damage. The point is guys, you always send tanks with infantry because infantry can uh, can destroy tanks too. So you send tanks and infantry to protect your ass against whatever tanks or infantry. Infantry is good against infantry and depending if they have anti-tank capabilities they will be good against tanks. But if they are not good against tanks it's okay, you can use the tank to get rid of the tanks and the infantry to get rid of the infantry and basically you have anti-tank and anti-infantry capabilities being used at the same time all right the blue player lieutenant kirin is advancing with uh, his elephant tank destroyer and also with some infantry let's see if the elephant tank destroyer can fire that far He's gonna use the Elephant Tank Destroyer against the Howitzer. One hit! One hit for the Howitzer. The Howitzer is, is extremely good against infantry. The, the Sherman must be sent back because the Elephant Tank Destroyer has a huge range. And as you can see guys, uh, the Elephant Tank Destroyer shot a few more uh, shots to the... Um, howitzer because the howitzer was not fully uh, destroyed it was it was just unmanned and it it was possible to man that tank so he had to be sure that he destroyed it and it cannot be used at all on the left side we see no action but on the right side there's a little action from kirin let's see the best player so far was uh was lemon it looks like he did uh, he did well indeed oh nice artillery guys artillery so um a player should never focus one type of units i mean you should always combine anti-tank stuffs with anti-infantry stuffs and with artillery so as lieutenant kirin um does he has artillery he can uh, use the artillery to get rid of static defensive positions that the enemy has and um, this is very efficient when you want to advance uh, as well guys uh, tanks if uh, you have to face any armored uh, vehicles from the enemies you should have a tank in your army well and he has the elephant tank destroyer and also you should have infantry infantry is good against infantry of course you can make the infantry good against anti-tanks just equip them with some anti-tank guns with some bazookas or some you can use the grenades or whatever flag grenades or fire panzerfaust whatever nice that uh, that guy I, I suppose that's the they are retreating here some uh, some artillery here would be so efficient and I suppose this guy already used it and he's using it again he's using the artillery guys watch it he didn't miss at all lieutenant Kirin just used the artillery very efficiently extremely efficiently you see, this is how you use the artillery. God damn it! Now he's repairing the tank, and he's he's moving it because I suppose he wants to take one hit for that tank that is in this area. That that Sherman, I suppose it's a Sherman. All right, and the Axis right now is capturing uh, the remaining two victory points, and they are doing better and better. I mean, just look at these two, uh, two tanks. 
Do you think anyone can uh, can face such uh, amazingness? I doubt so. Couldn't miss it. Beautiful. On the left side, there is a little attempt to push, but it's not too efficient. They they did capture the victory point, but they will see that what they are attempting here is just pointless and faithless. Oh, an anti-tank gun! It barely deals any damage to this Tiger Six or just Tiger. Oh, the Tiger has been hit in the rear armor. We can see here two, uh, I mean one Sherman and one Jackson. And the allies just surrendered. Well guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any awesome replays, make sure to send them to me and I will uh, record them. Alright, but make sure the replays are awesome. Take care. Love you. Bye bye.